In this video, we're going to talk about the semi AFK Orca drone mining in ISEC. Literally, probably the safest thing that you could possibly do as far as just generating ISK and everything. And this is one of those things that I normally do when I'm doing something else, right? And my alt is actually going to be uh, taking over a lot of the uh, Bellspar mining in high sec or just kind of like having a stockpile there. And so what I'll be doing is I have the, a character that just sits in high sec in an orca that's tanked out and I'm just running like regular tech 2 mining drones and the purpose of that is just to bring the overall cost down I don't have to worry about you know facilitating augments or anything like that I don't really care about the uh, the difference between like augments I don't really care about the difference between augment yield and uh, tech 2 yield and so what I'll normally do is I'll just put this character on the screen and I very rarely have to really kind of maintain it I split all the drones across different rocks and then on another character I'll be doing like my normal data relic sites in null and everything like that I've literally had an alt sit out here in an orca for five to eight hours a day with very minimal um, attention needed and even when rats come on the grid I usually don't pull drones in if they're actually red boxing the mining drones then I'll kill the rats but if they're red boxing the orca I just leave them up because if anybody does try to come in and like do the whole gang thing and they also have like you know frigates or whatever the rats are on field to, to mess with but I rarely have to worry about that I mean a lot of gang fleets are gonna be looking for things like hulks and uh, mackinaws and things like that but the way I actually tank this orca is very difficult for them just to do in like one fell swoop and by the time they even try to like, by the time they even get me even close to halfway in armor they're already having to worry about Concord for the most part so I just don't really care, right? Plus this um this worker is like super cheap anyway. And if even if I like take this that's my goal is like I always just take this orca out and let it, you know, mine for like five or so hours a day on, on whatever. And it ends up paying for itself, you know, in a week or so. But it's even better than asteroid mining would be like moon mining. If you're out there in high sec or even in null and you put like an orca with, you know, tech 2 mining drones on like a moon rock that's super chill I used to actually the, the best money I've actually made in mining with an orca on just drones is on uh, moon mining because you can just put all the drones you just get really close to that rock and the density is really high and the volume is really high on those uh, moon rocks that you do even better and now that you have compression orca mining is so much better now because before when I would do high sec orca mining we'd have to have like a structure we have to come off grid when we filled up in order to compress everything down but now I don't even have to leave grid I can mine this entire belt and then go to the next belt and never have to worry about a station also I just carry like a um, a blockade runner or a deep space transport with me usually too and I just take everything to market if I sell it I take everything to market in compressed value and or compressed form and just take care of it that way if it's one of those things that you're interested in doing then I, by far, like you're gonna get about 12 million an hour um, if you're on top of it. Uh, then 12 million an hour on an Orco with Tech 2 drones is about average, right? Um, if you use augments, you might, if you get lucky and you like, you know, don't have a lot of like time loss from like switching targets or missing, you know, drone assignments or anything like that, you might get like 15 an hour or so. And the way I see it is like, yes. 15 an hour for orca drone mining is really low but the thing is it's consistent content when you think about things in terms of like null where you have to hope that there's a combat zig and then when you scan it you have to hope it's like a data relic site or a combat site in order to run you have a lot of variables in play that you know doesn't make that income very consistent the thing about orca drone mining in high sec is there's always belts at reset i get out there and i just start like mining these belts and it's something i can count on and it's just like it's super consistent i log the alt in every day go out to the belt again and start up the whole machine and most days whenever i'm just letting this character just do its thing i can generate you know 100 mil in a day with very little um attention required right and uh that's what i love about the compression now on the orca and everything like that it's just it makes everything so much easier and if you're, you know, starting off, if you're like, you know, just trying to figure out how to like kind of sustain yourself, you can collect yourself 
with just an orca. Because if you do like 12 million an hour, then yeah, you're going to be having to mine for like seven, eight hours a day. But normally, if you're interested in like plexing your account anyway, you're probably going to be playing close to that a day anyway. And that's based on like the current market value for 500 plex divided across 28 days. Now, obviously, if you're in a month that has more than 28 days, you have a little bit more leniency. And also, if you're doing project discovery while you're actually out here mining and doing this, you really only have to, you know, earn like 65 million a day because that project discovery is going to give you 20. And if you're already out here, you know, just assigning drones, it's very easy just to do your project discovery right here on field. But I know a lot of people don't like product discovery, but like taking 20 mil off of your um, daily, you know, requirement to like plex yourself over the course of a month pays out pretty well. But I figured I'd, I haven't done an orca video, a solo mining orca video in a while. I just figured I'd let you guys know that it's something I still do. It's something I still recommend, and especially if you're not, you know, in null yet. If you're not, you know, skilled to the point where you can use better ships like Marauders, or if you don't have your scanning skills quite where you want them to be. Uh, solo drone mining is, is definitely still um, a really, really good, consistent way of making cash. And if you don't actually have all the skills for Orca either, you can start with a uh, Porpoise. Especially if you're just doing like, you know, Asteroid Belts and High Sec. The Orca is good for like having like the Ice and the um, the Moon or Compressor and stuff like that. But if you're really just trying to start off, obviously like the Porpoise is not going to be as tanky as the uh, the Porpoise. But it's somewhere to start out, right? And if you're extremely, extremely new and you're wanting to get into like mining, then you know, bringing a procurer out here and just you know, filling up that procurer and then going to a station and compressing it, and then ever so often just you know, sell that. Like, you just work your way up to that orca, work your way up to doing exactly what you see here, which is just we can literally be in space all day without really having an issue. And when it comes down to like costs with fuel. The heavy water, the cost for heavy water is so nominal. It's ridiculous. Like we haven't actually refilled this since we came out and we we can get a lot of value. We can get about two bill worth of compressed ore before we use up all of this heavy water. So and this and this didn't even cost all that much anyway. It you know, you might use two to maybe three million in value of, of heavy water, you know, in a four to five even a six hour period of mining so i know a lot of people are going to be like well you know you gotta like take fuel into account and you do but if you're actually you know mining consistently and you're getting belts bar which is the highest value right now to get then it's not something you need to worry about every time you go back to Jita and sell your compressed or just refill your orca with heavy water before you go back out or if you're sending everything to to uh Jita with like a bus start or a crane or something just bring heavy water back with you and refill your orca and it's just the most easiest way to get the consistent income early on and even for me sitting here at like you know almost 100 million skill points it's still something that i enjoy doing because it's something that i can rely on it's something i know i can just like go out there and just kind of chill and just kind of vibe on the belt and just mine because for me value is value it all adds up yeah it might only be 12 to 15 million an hour but if you're not buying a whole lot of ships and stuff like that that you know you don't need, if you're like actually saving the ISK and doing things in a smart manner, then it does pay off. And for me at least, I think you know solo organ mining is extremely uh, chill, and I actually do enjoy the entire thing about it. And I know that CPP and a lot of you know veterans and stuff do not like enjoy seeing people you know using the Orca as a solo miner, but I've been doing it. For several years now and like even with all the changes in mining I, I it still works out right and we're also getting new ore you know coming and I think there'll be a like a pretty good surge in the mining and I think they're going to start like trying to really touch on and try to like kind of help the uh, mining side of the industry so skilling into like the orca for this kind of activity is extremely worth it in my opinion but anyway I figure I'll let you guys kind of know what I'm doing in the work a high sec kind of mining situation so thank you for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys next time